Well, good morning and welcome back to our daily Bible chapter series. Today it is February the 8th of 2022, and we are in Numbers chapter 14, and we're going to read from the New King James Version. So all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried, and the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron. And the whole congregation said to them, If only we had died in the land of Egypt, or if only we had died in the wilderness. Why has the Lord brought us to this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and children should become victims? Would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? So they said to one another, Let us select a leader and return to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the children of Israel. But Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes. And they spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, The land we pass through to spy out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord, nor fear the people of the land, for they are our bread. Their protection has departed from them, and the Lord is with, the, is with us. Do not fear them. And all the congregation said to stone them with stones. Now the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of meeting before all the children of Israel. Then the Lord said to Moses, How long will these people reject me? And how long will they not believe me? With all the signs which I have performed among them, I will strike them with the pestilence and disinherit them, and I will make of you a nation greater and mightier than they. And Moses said to the Lord, Then the Egyptians will hear it, for by your might you brought these people up from among them, and they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land, they have heard that you, Lord, are among these people, that you, Lord, are seen face to face, and your cloud stands above them, and you go before them in a pillar of cloud by day, and in a pillar of fire by night. Now if you kill these people as one man, then the nations which have heard of your fame will speak, saying, Because the Lord was not able to bring this people to the land which he swore to give them, therefore he killed them in the wilderness. And now, I pray, let the power of my Lord be great, just as you have spoken, saying, The Lord is long-suffering and abundant in mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, but he by no means clears the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation. Pardon the iniquity of this people, I pray, according to the greatness of your mercy, just as you have forgiven this people from Egypt even until now. Then the Lord said, I have pardoned according to your word, but truly, as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, because all these men who have seen my glory and the signs which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness have put me to the test now these ten times and have not heeded my voice. They certainly shall not see the land of which I swore to their fathers, nor shall any of those who rejected me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he has a different spirit in him and has followed me fully, I will bring into the land where he went, and his descendants shall inherit it. Now the Amalekites and the Canaanites dwell in the valley. Tomorrow turn and move out into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation who complain against me? I have heard the complaints which the children of Israel make against me. Say to them, As I live, says the Lord, just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. The carcasses of you who have complained against me shall fall in this wilderness. All of you who were numbered, according to your entire number, from twenty years old and above, Except for Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun, you shall by no means enter the land which I swore I would make you dwell in. But your little ones, whom you said would be victims, I will bring in, and they shall know the land which you have despised. 
But as for you, your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness, and your sons shall be like shepherds in the wilderness forty years, and bear the brunt of your infidelity until your carcasses are consumed in the wilderness. According to the number of days in which you spied out the land, forty days, for each day you shall bear your guilt one year, namely forty years, and you shall know my rejection. I, the Lord, have spoken this. I will surely do so to all this evil congregation who are gathered together against me. In this wilderness they shall be consumed, and there they shall die. Now the men whom Moses sent to spy out the land, who returned and made all the congregation complain against him by bringing a bad report of the land, those very men who brought the evil report about the land died by the plague before the Lord. But Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Jepuna remained alive of the men who went to spy out the land. Then Moses told these words to all the children of Israel, and the people mourned greatly. And they rose early in the morning and went up to the top of the mountain, saying, Here we are, and we will go up to the place which the Lord has promised, for we have sinned. And Moses said, Now why do you transgress the command of the Lord? For this will not succeed. Do not go up, lest you be defeated by your enemies. For the Lord is not among you. For the Amalekites and the Canaanites are there before you, and you shall fall by the sword. Because you have turned away from the Lord, the Lord will not be with you. But they presumed to go up to the mountain top. Nevertheless, neither the ark of the covenant of the Lord nor Moses departed from the camp. Then the Amalekites and the Canaanites who dwelt in that mountain came down and attacked them and drove them back as far as Hormah. Numbers chapter 14 You know, as I was reading through Numbers chapter 14, um, just here with you, I... There was a verse that said, stood out to me. Um, it's verse 43. It was just, I mean, just almost right at the end of the chapter. And it says, For the Amalekites and the Canaanites are there before you, and you shall fall by the sword. Because you have turned away from the Lord, the Lord will not be with you. And man, that just, you know, that kind of hit me because... You know, how many times have I whined and complained about where I am in life or, you know, you know, I don't, I moved from, you know, my home state up to another state um, at about the age of 35. And, you know, when I moved, my whole intention was to, you know, eventually go back home and, you know, here 10 years later, I'm still here. Um and I, and I want to go home and, you know, I, I have thought about, you know, like, God, why do you still have me here? And what am I doing? And, you know, if only I could go back sometimes and, you know, I don't want to be you know, like the Israelites who were, you know, saying, let me go back to my slavery because it's so much better than being here in the wilderness. Um, but in, in some ways, you know, it's, you know, I would kind of equate where I am in life right now to a wilderness um, in a sense of um, things that I thought would happen haven't happened and things that I'm wanting to happen haven't happened yet. And, you know, in some ways I feel like there was a promise made to me that um, hasn't been fulfilled yet. And I don't know when that day's coming and I don't know if it will. And, you know, then you read something like verse 43 and it's like, you know, you turned away from the Lord, and so now the Lord is basically turned away from you. And, you know, man, I, I just, I hope that's not the case. I hope that I haven't done something, or, and I hope that I never would do something to, to turn away from the Lord. And, you know, I, I've had multiple prayers where I've talked, you know, talked to God about, you know, getting me through this and, and standing firm and knowing that He has it all planned out and that I just need to you know, be a good listener. But anyway, that's um, kind of where my, my mind went as I was reading through this chapter. There was a lot in there to, to take in. And, you know, those people died in the wilderness. They never got to go into the to the promised land. And, you know, just 
just thinking about that, you were told about this land that would have been an amazing piece of land and that's where you were going to go and then you you messed it up because you complained against the Lord. So anyway, um, I hope you will join me tomorrow for Numbers chapter 15 and uh, I don't know about you but I am enjoying reading every day and uh, spending a little bit of time every day thinking about what, what God's Word says and, and how it can speak to us. Anyway, have a good day.